Hello, you Uber tubers. Fifty doing it here. Hey, check, hey, check. Gotcha. Loud and clear. Roger that. Don't to the so today we're heading down to Harris Crab House in Maryland. Oh, it's about a three, four hour ride each way. We're going to have some crabs. This is uh, the final ride together with my buddy, Mr. Michelli. So we figured we're going to do it big. So uh, hit the subscribe button. Help us suck around. Hit the bell notification icon so you get notified every time a video drops. And we'll be right back. So we just started uh, making our way down to Maryland. We're going to hit the Jersey Turnpike. It's all highways. Uh, like I said, about three to four hours each way for crabs. This is uh, our farewell ride for my buddy Joe up front. And we're going to miss him. You know, you share a lot of time on the road with, uh, with these guys. And, you know, life changes and uh, next thing you know, you're moving away and starting a new chapter. You know, uh, the funny part is the rest of us here are sitting there saying, don't go, man. <laughs> We're going to miss you. Well, we got our first uh, incident of the day. <laughs> the, uh, the old boom GTs are dated enough now where the maps are significantly out of date. There's been a lot of construction in this area uh, due to the population density. And uh, the maps are just not accurate anymore. So basically... Uh, He's trying to reroute, trying to figure out the best route to get down to uh, the Crab House in Maryland. We're making our first U-turn here of the day. Oh, <laughs> I think it's kind of funny because the last time we took this ride, we didn't get home. <laughs> I have memories of the last time we did this ride. <laughs> If nobody pulls out a fire extinguisher, we're good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you all broken up. We're making our way back up to you. I did that. I'm in the right lane. Once I see you guys, then I'll come over in the left. Copy that. So the last time we went down here, we didn't get home until midnight. And uh, that was the craziest ride. One of the craziest rides of my life. <laughs> So we ended up uh, wanting to get ice cream. Well, one person wanted to get ice cream. And uh, one guy had to go home to feed his dogs. <laughs> so, all right, we're all caught up, Joe. Take the left lane when you can. Right after that Jeep. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you're all clear after that car right there. So, uh, they wanted ice cream, and uh, the other guy had to go home and feed his dogs. Now, granted, we're three hours away, so we're eating lunch. And uh, finally, peer pressure, which is a bitch, we go to get ice cream. Uh, we figured, oh, we're far enough south in uh, Maryland. Let's just take the ferry back to New Jersey. But first, another guy, <laughs> unbeknownst to any of us, uh, led us to where he parked his camper every year for vacation. <laughs> so <laughs> we're just like, where the hell are we? And he's like, I parked my trailer right there, man. I'm coming down here in two weeks. And we were just like, what? <laughs> I'm like, where the hell are we? <laughs> so anyway... After we wasted, uh, I don't know, countless hours, it's getting late now. And, of course, the guy that's got to get home to feed his dogs is in a panic because his wife's not going to be home, and uh, and he knows two things. His dogs are hungry, they need to go out, and uh, 
worse, his wife is expecting him to do this in a timely fashion. So he's failing on both parts, and he's really guilty about it. And uh, it was a bad day for him. <laughs> he spent most of it riding angry. And uh, I think this fucking thing has us going back to Jackson. <laughs> fucking amazing. So the Harley navigation is not that good. Well, the Boom GT is not that good anymore. Just pick on the turnpike, maybe. So anyway, uh, somebody's got the idea, let's go take the ferry across since we're so uh, so far south instead of riding all the way back north, right? Because uh, technically New Jersey's a peninsula. And uh, you got the whole Delaware water gap there. And uh, you can take a ferry ride across. So we're like, okay, that's cool. We'll spend the day doing that. Uh, nobody thought to think when the last ferry was going to leave. So uh, we missed it. <laughs> so we had to ride all the way back up anyway. So it ended up being almost a, a, like a 550-mile day. And we're tired. Everybody's, I won't say in a bad mood. A couple of the guys are in a bad mood for obvious reasons. One guy missed uh, you know, his deadline for his wife. And uh, another guy was... Uh, oh, I'll leave that part later. <laughs> so anyway, we... We're right back home. Now it's like 10 o'clock at night. And we're, we're probably 20 miles from everybody's house. We pull over just to take a pee break. And uh, next thing you know, there's a tractor trailer pulling off the New Jersey Turnpike into the rest area on fire. So... One of the guys with us was a retired police officer, so instincts kick in. We said, hey, where's Steve? And all of a sudden we see this guy <laughs> running full tilt with a fire extinguisher in his hand to the truck. And we're like, I think that's Steve. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? So uh, the thing was engulfed in flames. Uh, the engine was just on fire. And uh, so that was a problem. And uh, they're spraying it down, and it's still on fire. I was in it down with the, uh, the fire extinguisher, but, you know, it was a pretty big fire, and there wasn't enough in that canister to put it out. So anyway, uh, the cops come, the fire department comes, and they got the whole parking lot off, just basically locked off. And um, we had nowhere to go, so we sat there for 30, 45 minutes. Then we snuck around the, uh, the barricade on our bikes to get home, which... Probably 11.30, quarter to 12 by then. And that was one hell of a long day. So, uh, not looking to repeat that. It's Sunday. We got work tomorrow. What I was going to say before was, the one guy who had to get ice cream failed to tell his wife that he took off that day. We played hooky for work. And uh, he didn't tell her. So, uh, he, you know, everybody thought we was going to be home. By three, four o'clock, the latest. So he never said a word, and I guess he forgot. But by the time uh, midnight came, she's calling around to everybody else's wives. Have you seen my husband? <laughs> I, I'm, she was absolutely, absolutely scared because he hadn't checked in all day, and uh, she tried to call him at work. He was gone, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't even imagine. So, I'm sure, I'm sure he got his ass reamed. Uh, pretty funny stuff. Anyway, so let that be a lesson to you, boys. If you're going to play hooky, you probably should fess up to the old lady just to make sure. Because, you know, when you're on bikes, old things, uh, every, uh, every ride can turn into an adventure pretty quickly. And uh, that ride certainly did. That was completely unplanned. We decided just to play hooky. We went out, and the next thing you know, we're, you know, 10 hours, 12 hours, 14 hours in. So that's that's the way it works, man, on motorcycles. Love you, don't. We're good, baby. So the, the GPS was acting up. Even if you'd skip a waypoint, it kept trying to bring us to, uh, well, right here. Originally, we were supposed to start at this gas station. We chose a different one, but uh, the navigation didn't care. 
They wanted us to start from here. Even if you skipped the waypoints, it was still bringing us back. So, here we go. We're in for a long day. Recalculating. Recalculating. This is the fucking worst. <laughs> hey, that's why I bought the new radio. It, it pissed me off when we went to Myrtle Beach so bad. I remember we're riding on, uh, I don't even know what it was. I think it was 71, which is a nice highway down there, hugging the coastline. And it had me in the middle of a lake for about 15, 20 miles. Alright, I'm gonna avoid Route 1 and all of this other shit and downtown train and head straight the fuck into the turnpike. Roger. Alright, we're all rolling. Okay, all together, man. Let's try this again. Okay. <laughs> Heading on to the New Jersey Turnpike, I-95, baby. Awesome place, man. Best crabs you're ever gonna eat. 